Hello Gemini, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest alone. Or you could look at your moon and rising sign if you're wanting greater clarity. And we have got never ending story and you can see his heads and his hands here. So things that seem to be going on forever. You might be going through challenging times here. Now this is a 10. So within time, you can see it here, things will end. Your challenges will end. It could be that you're going round in circles. Let's see. Sagas are going on and on. Wisdom. Well, definitely when you're going through challenges, you are gaining wisdom. And we're learning all the time. So if we're learning and things that aren't for us, we're learning what is for us. So we're gaining a lot of wisdom. Challenges can be karmic lessons with people, situations or environments that we're in. So we are growing as a soul person which is the whole point of these challenges in the first place, release. So it's time, it could be that these challenges are at an end now, or there's something you might need to release. Be wise about your choices. Use the knowledge you've had. If there's something you need to walk away from now, now's the time to do it, because that's what will end these challenges. Right, so we'll just see what the tarot's got to say. If this reading's not resonating with you, there's other messages on my channel that might suit you better. There's a playlist. Uh, strength card, Leo energy. There we go. It's ending. Tens of swords are ending. The six of cups. The wheel of fortune. The overall energy is the justice card. Beautiful. The tower moment. The eight of pentacles. The four of swords. And the High Priestess, beautiful energy. Now we have the Tower card here. Now this is unstable, unstable situations, environments or people that are around you. Now this could be within any area of your life. It could be people, environments. It could be your uh, home life or it could be your finances. There is pentacles on this table. But there's been something that needs to be released here. It's putting an end to these never-ending sagas that go on for you. It's a tower moment, so the universe could have stepped in here uh, and it can feel as if the rug's been pulled under your feet. Now, I did say that we've been through a lot of challenges here, so you've gained a lot of wisdom through going through these situations. Now, it's either a tower moment you've gone through or you've been, th you're, you've been through. Tower moments are different from everybody. Um, it can feel as if I always say the rug's been pulled from under your feet here, but the reason tower moments happen is because there's something better needs to come in. So any kind of instability in any area of your life we're talking about here, it's time for change here. So these in insecure and unstable people, situations or environments need to go now. And after the Tower card comes the, the Star card. So new hope and rejuvenation is coming in, but it can feel very difficult. But it's putting an end to these ever-ending sagas that you're going through. And I did say that the times now, this is the time clock here. Um, there's better things ahead. It's in the shape of a heart as well. So it's done, with, I know it might feel difficult, but it's because your it's, spirit's got happier times ahead for you. There's a wee heart in there. And what this is doing is ending your mental challenges or karmic challenges that you've been through. These are ending things. So any disappointments are ending now, it's time to let it all go. Any backstabbing, any mental confusion, energies of any kind, your challenges are over now. And what's going to happen is it's time for you to sit back, recover. It's a type of recovery energy here. Um, you could have had an illness for those that have been ill. But for those that haven't been ill, it's about somebody who's been through some sort of battle and he's brainstorming and he's reviewing things and he's thinking about what he's learned here, what he's went through, and he's deciding how he's going to go forward. So use all the knowledge you've gained. You're very wise here through what you've been through here. And do some brainstorming. Um, you might want to pamper yourself as well and take time out to recover from these challenges. You can sit back a bit now. It always helps you to sit back and review things. And when we're doing that, we are always listening to our intuition. So take time out, pamper yourself, take as long as you need here to brainstorm and think about how you're going to go forward and listen to your gut voice, how you're thinking, feeling, seeing things around you. Your instinct, your soul voice, whatever you cry, will always serve you well here. And this is all about karmic justice. Things are going to fall into place for you. This is the universe helping you. 
to get rid of insecure and stable situations in your life. And when you decide to go forward here and use your intuition, the universe is definitely helping you to move forward. There's luck on your side. Things are going to fall into place for you. The universe is going to back you to do this. And what can happen is when you decide how you want to go forward and you've made your decisions and your choices and your brainstorming's done, you can feel that you can move forward. There can be a surge, in, a surge of energy comes into your life and it moves you forward towards what it is you want very, very quickly. So this could be legal situations going in your favour as well. So any if it's not karmic justice alone, it can be legal situations going in your favour. So be very wise. Understand that what you've gained, went through, you've gained a lot of wisdom here. You've learned a lot and it's time to move forward. Now, this is about focus. It's about focusing on what it is you want to put your energies into now. Now, this can be your skills. You could get a mentor here that can help you develop your skills. You're very good at what you do on a daily basis. It could be looking at the details of anything. So financial, you could be looking at your financial situation here, how you want to invest money, what you're going to do with your money, how you want to pay your bills. It could be having a plan. Um, it could be taking up a new job opportunity here, whatever it may be. But it's releasing disappointments, never-ending sagas, releasing the insecurity so that you can focus again and work on things and bring growth and stability back into your life here. So looking at the details, definitely, and getting your head down and working on what it is you're deciding to build now. And this is about strength. Now, strength is not as simple as saying being strong here. This Leo energy, strength is something, when we're strong, we're confident. We have high self-esteem. And what's happening here is you're very wise. You've learned loads. You've been through all these challenges. And what you're the reason that she's strong here is because she's recognising that she has survived the challenges she's been through. And that gives her the self-esteem and the courage to go forward. So when you're reviewing things, think about all the challenges you've been through and what you've learned here. And that will give you the confidence and the high self-esteem to go forward. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a childlike joy that's going to come back into your life. Uh, and you're going to be more playful. Now, I did say here, this could be you pampering yourself or taking time out as well and recovering. So doing something fun can help. This can also be somebody from your past coming back that you've been very fond of, connecting up with people from your past. It could be a long lost friend or family member, or it could be somebody from a previous life coming forward to help you go towards and build what it is that you're wanting to do now. And they can support you through this time. I will just clarify. I'll just take three more cards uh, for this Four of Swords energy here. Okay, there we go. Now, we've got the four that turns into the five. So your brainstorming here is about releasing things. It's about cutting your losses here. Five's a change. So it's about bringing change in. We need to be releasing things, remember. So it's going to bring change. This is about winning the battle and not the war. So it could feel like a bittersweet victory that we're having here. Um, when the tower moments come in, it can be that we're having to move on and we're leaving things behind we would rather take with us. So we can feel as if we've won, you know, there's a there's a sense of loss with this. But this is what the change is all about. And it's about moving towards your wish fulfillment. Happiness and contentment is going to come into your life through brainstorming and cutting your losses here and accepting what is going on with you, releasing things that don't that are uh, not serving you anymore, contentment and happiness coming in. And what happens is you invest in your pentacles, whatever you're deciding to go forward to do, whether it be your work, your finances, your relationships or your environments here. You're looking at the details. You're doing the work, like I said. You're developing skills here, looking at the details. And what happens is you come into this beautiful young empress energy, which is somebody who has the confidence I was talking about here. She's strong. She's got high self-esteem. She's somebody who is making the right decisions for herself. When people look at her, they understand that she can create stability in her life. So she's accepting her tower moments. She's letting it all go here. And she's investing in things 
in the right people, situations and environments so that she can bring growth into her life and harmony comes back in. You can see how beautiful things are round about her here. Now, this can also be the single person's energy, but you don't have to be single to be in this energy. It's people looking at you and admiring you for the stability that you can create. And I'm saying she is not a gender specific reading. I'm talking about the energies on the cards here. So beautiful stability and growth coming in after tower moments here. So use the, the knowledge you've gained here. Be wise about things here. So you're letting go all the insecure things and you're creating beautiful growth in your life here. Career. It's a time to add extra energy to your career. Here. Maybe try something new or you might want to develop your skills to gain promotion. Birth. Birth. This is time for new beginnings. Embrace a new life with open arms. Absolutely new things. And three wanted to come out. This one wanted to come out as well. Love. It's the right time for you to experience a loving, committed relationship. Enjoy it. I hope this helps. That's for those that are looking with lo for love. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.